Welcome to Your Monday Motivation with Udena Barika Gill, a motivational podcast to start your week empowered. Hey family, you are welcome. This is your Monday motivation. You know, Monday, we try to get you a word from God that will help you and encourage you to start your week off strong. Amen. So our scripture for this week is taken from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. So let's see what it says. It says, forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. And 19 says, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. That is a wonderful scripture. So the theme for this week is embracing change. Embracing change. Change is a very, very hard thing for most of us to allow ourselves to go through. So I just want to talk about it briefly because I myself have been through changes in life and I believe you as well. So the thing is with change is we have a picture in mind of how it has to look like at the end. So, but I'm going to help us, right? It is important to look at the end, but it's also important to, um, to be in the process of getting there whatever change is it, it is is happening in your life right now or whatever change you want to uh, implement in your life uh, it's an encouragement that you also enjoy the road to it the preparation towards it you know we often look at our goals in life in the same way whether we want to make a big change or changes that happen to us we visualize the outcome so we set accept, uh, um, expectation, but this way of thinking, it can make it difficult, you know, to navigate through change. After all, making a big decision in life, uh, it doesn't happen overnight. So the road to achievement, it comes with all sorts of twist, turn and dead end. So people often become so obsessed with the expectation. They feel disappointed and are quick to give up when things don't go perfectly. So, and we need to face it. Life never goes as we plan it. Amen. So, and that is why we need to, um, embracing change is so important. Although you cannot predict the future, right? But you can learn to navigate transitions along the way. So the beginning of a change is also the end of something, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a change of a job. Uh, we often find ourselves at moment when phase of life comes to an end, right? And I think we, uh, we all can agree in that. So change isn't easy. It's not easy at all. So when something shifts, a lot of different emotion can come up. It can feel confusing, uh, stressful, or just plain scary. You can experience sadness. You can uh, feel a little bit of numbness, like nothing is happening. You might even feel excited, excitement for the new beginning that you are moving towards. So uh, as you are in the transition zone, you, um, as you move from the end of the one thing, you find yourself in a transition period, or let's call it uh, a neutral zone. Right, so you have you have quite ended something, and now you are going into something new. Um, you haven't quite started yet, so and that is why it feels like a neutral zone. No, nothing is happening, nothing is moving, but things are happening and things are moving. So in between the period of change, it takes time for the transition to to occur, right, to happen. So during this transition zone, you can feel a lot of mixed emotion. It can feel confusing, like I said, frightening, overwhelming. You know, you might even face doubt, doubting yourself. You might feel like you are out of balance, uh, like you are losing something, like I just mentioned. But guess what? That is completely normal, right? Uncertainty in the, in the natural part of any adjustment period 
when you uh, realize that, then you can accept some of the un uncomfortable feelings that are arising during the transition process. Uh, it's on you to accept it, knowing that when you hold on to it, right, uh, with patience, it will come out, you will come out strong and it will come to pass, right? The Bible says it, it will come to pass. I see a 55, 11, whatever you have spoken over your life, it will come to pass. So finally, then you make it through the transition period and you embark on the new. So you are starting now towards the new uh, phase of, of life or relationship or whatever it is, uh, uh, ministry wise, it can be, uh, moving change, a anything, a any change in your life. So you might feel some of the, the tense, you know, from the ending. And you might also notice some of the numbness from the, 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 the transition zone. But at this point you will get, you know, you will start to get more, um, a sense of stability. You feel more rooted, more secure. So as you progress in this new chapter in your life, you also start to feel more comfortable. And that is it. When you start to feel comfortable, then it means you have accepted the change. You have accepted the feeling of not knowing what is happening, uh, of things being too quiet around you. Then the change is complete. Amen. I think women, uh, women can agree more on this because of, um, you know, being pregnant and the whole pregnancy, especially the first, uh, four month, a lot of change will, will occur with the body, but that's not much you can do to it, you know, other than give into it. Right. So that is it. You know, sometimes it's, it's just scary. But just like anything in life, even the difficult time will pass. So embracing change means you will, you will see adversity as an opportunity, right? And uh, try new things. Uh, be, you know, be open-minded. Uh, you know, try to step into uncomfortable zone because that is that's the only way you will get out of what you are used to. Right. That's a saying that you cannot expect something new to happen with the same method. So you need sometimes you need to change the way you approach things, the way you see things and the way you think uh, about certain things for you in order for you to have um, uh, different results. Right. So this is my encouragement for you today, whether you are going to a change, if it's work on your work re related, uh, family wise, whatever it is. Those feelings that are happening in between is normal. Accept them, know how to deal with them, and, and uh, don't only focus on the big picture, but also enjoy the process as God is taking you to your next, amen? So when you have a big dream in mind, you have to stick your neck out there. If you want to build uh, uh, the, uh, what God has called you to do, you have to stand firm and be uh, consistent and, and, and follow your heart, you know, um, stay in prayer, keep, um, keep reading the word of God because it's through his word and through prayer, he will order your steps and he is faithful and just, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. So God is true. His word is yes and amen. And I want to encourage somebody this week. Once again, this is your Monday motivation. Change will happen, whether you like it or not. But it is for you to come out strong. And in order to come out strong, you need to understand that those emotions in between, they are part of the transition. Amen. So I hope this word encourages you. Visit our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Try also to share with somebody because it might be a blessing for someone out there. Amen. So until we meet again, not next week, but a week after, we will send a new video. And as we are um, going into the holiday season, I uh, just want to speak a word of blessings over your life. That Lord, the Lord will grant you peace in your home, in your mind, in your spirit, and, and in everything that you do. Amen. So be blessed. See you next time. God bless you.